possibly time to crack on, Hendy, so tell us who's the first guest tonight. Patrick, our first guest tonight is not only a member of the sexiest family in pop, she's also a world-class fiddler. She's fiddled with the Rolling Stones, she's fiddled with Pavarotti, but occasionally she likes to fiddle solo. Sounds a bit like you, Patrick. Leave it. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the beautiful yet talented Sharon Corr. It's good to have you here. Thank you. And uh, it's nice that you, you know, you decided to pick the one where we end up in the whiskey distillery. Wow. Because uh, you live in Belfast. Well, I live in Dublin. As well. As well. Yes, two houses, very rich. <laughs> and we do the show from Belfast every week. I know. And so Sharon says, I'm sorry, I can't do the show in Belfast. Pick the whiskey distillery 100 miles down the road. Suddenly Sharon Corr's available. Gee, I wonder why. Where do you think that is? <laughs> Might be the drink. Possibly the drink. <laughs> Should you not be off playing the White House this summer for some president? Uh, no, we just decided to give that a miss this year. Is that right? He's a bit busy. Because I, I kind of think that on St. Patrick's Day, surely it's the law that the cores go off and play for some president and hand them a bowl of weeds and stuff. Is that we not no happens? We normally do that, yeah. Is that right, do, yeah? Yeah, but this year I just think he's got other things on his mind, you know. I, I think that if the cores turned up, he might cancel the war and think about something else. Just... <laughs> well, I'd, if it works, I'll do that. <laughs> Seriously? Will you do that, yeah? I will. Okay, so Sharon and the rest of the cores are going to go to the White House and... Stop the war. And distract Bush, yeah. <laughs> so to speak. Um, and I, I think that's... How would you suggest we do that? I, I've, I've no idea. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you could fiddle for him. I could. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it would work for me. <laughs> well, well, you've played for presidents and you've you played for the Pope. Yeah. And you've you played for the Queen. Yeah. And, and, and now you're here. I know. How, how does this it is the highlight. This is the highlight, Patty. <laughs> Will you buy me a drink later? Then? Oh, are you asking? <laughs> I'm asking. Are you dancing? I'm dancing. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm in there with one of the cores. <laughs> so, um, you're in studio at the minute, are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Working on the next album. And uh, what way is that coming along? Really well, really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. We've been writing for the last six months or so, and it's it's gone really well. Really and good. and Caroline, how does it work? Because Caroline's now had a little baby. She has, yeah, little Jake. Yeah. And did, did did she bring him in? Like, did she? No, drum she's just gone to Mallorca. Oh, has she? Yeah. Because I, I kind of assumed that, that Caroline was going to be in there drumming, like with one hand, like the guy from Def Leppard, and breastfeeding with the we other. <laughs> <laughs> we actually tried to write drumming when she was um, about eight and a half months, and then we just thought, oh, this could be quite cruel for the baby. So. Well, could, could she, she not actually get behind it? It was a bit difficult. There was a big distance between her and the snare drum, so we sort of gave it up on that so one. So she's got a few days off? She has. Yeah? Yeah. And, and what I love is I actually know you, right? But now we're on a chat show and, and we've actually got cameras. I can ask you stuff that I normally can't ask it whenever we're just having a drink. So, <laughs> so when you're in studio then, like is there, you know, who writes the stuff? What way does it work? We all do. We all write. We usually sort of write separately. Like, um, Carlin and Andrew would write a lot together. Jim and Andrew would write together. I would generally write on my own, although I've been writing with Jim for the Why last few years. Why is that, Sharon? Why do you write on your own? Does, I don't do know. they not like you? Or what, what's... They don't, yeah, they don't really like me. They like to keep me out of the studio. Seriously? Yeah. They say I smile. Okay. Uh, why did I say that? Why did I say that? I, I don't know why you said it, but it, it sounds good to me. Okay. I doubt you, I doubt you ever smell. Do you fart? No. no? <laughs> that, that's, Girl, girls don't do that. That's something I always want to ask you as well. Do the, co do the cores no. actually fart? No. No? <laughs> so, so it's just one big happy family then? It is. It's yeah. lovely. It's very nice. Well, you're doing your own stuff now, aren't you? You're kind of off doing little bits and pieces. Uh, Andrew's off doing a movie. Yeah. And uh, get this, folks. You, you're kind of up for an Oscar later this week, are you? Well, yeah, a little bit kind in of. a way. Was, yeah? yeah. Well, I played on the um, on the track that um, you two recorded for Gangs from New York, so I played violin on that track. And, and how, how does that happen? Does Bono just sort of ring you up, or what? Yeah, he did literally. He said, "You know, I'd love you to play on a track," and I, I was I was a bit shocked, and I, I really was. And um, I said, "Okay, so send me the tape, and I'll have a listen to it, see what I come up with." Hmm. He said, "Well, no, we're kind of in a hurry, so I need you to do it now." So ten minutes later, I was in U2's studio playing violin on a track that I'd never heard before. So, so, so he rang you up with ten minutes' notice. 
Yeah. Did well, half an hour, I think he gave me. So, yeah. so, so what happened? Like, had he not planned to put a fiddle on it, or were you second choice, or what? They, no, they, they. <laughs> I'm just asking. No, they had been working the tune. The tune, I think, they needed it for um, a, a scene in the movie where New York sort of um, rises from the ground, and they needed something very special to sort of lead into the song, and they needed something quite Irish. So, so Bono was just sitting there going, "I need something special for this man." Who's special that I know? <laughs> Sharon Carr. <laughs> Is that the way it works? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So you just went in and did it? I went in and did it, and it was a wee bit nerve-wracking, I must say. I was kind of like, oh, man, I can't believe I'm doing this. But we did it, and uh, it sounds great. It's really good. And are you going to go to the Oscars, or...? or... No. He hasn't invited you? No. <laughs> He calls you up with 10 minutes' notice, right? OK, you go in, you play on the track, he's nominated for an Oscar, uh, and he's off now, going to get his Oscar next week, and Sharon Corr is sitting back in Ireland. If you're watching Bono, you bastard! <laughs> That's what I say. No, I, I